Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the belt drive system. So the drive system is nothing but it is the system which is basically used to transmit the power. And here we are using the belt as a media to transmit the power. So what is belt drive system? So the belt drive system is nothing but it is the drive which is used to transmit the power from input to output. And this belt drive system is usually classified into three types. That is light drives, medium drives and heavy drives. So in light drives, they are used to transmit the power where the belt speed required is about 10 meter per second. So the applications will be in agricultural machines and small machine tools. While in medium drives, the power transmission speed will be over 10 meter per second, but below 22 meter per second. For example, they can be used in machine tools. And in heavy drives, it is to transmit the power where the belt speed is above 20 to 22 meter per second, where, for example, it is in compressors or generator. So this is the basic classification of the belt drive system. Now, this belt drive system, is, these are having different types of belt. So these belts, they are classified according to their cross section. So if you see here, this is the flat belt. Here, the cross section is flat. This is the V belt where the cross section is V, and this is the circular belt where the cross section is circular. So, this flat belt they are mostly used in factories and workshops where moderate amount of power is to be transmitted, and the distance between the two pulleys they are not more than 8 meters apart. While for the V belt, they are mostly using so the industrial purpose, and where the moderate amount of power is to be transmitted between the two pulleys. While the circular or rope pulley here, the power is been transferred between the two pulleys whose distance is more than 8 meter apart. So, this circular belt or rope is being used where the distance between the two pulleys will be more than 8 meter apart. Now, the builder system is being classified as per the position. So, here if you see, this is the driving pulley and this is the driven pulley. And on this driving and driven pulley, it has been surrounded by a continuous belt system where now here driver will be moving in clockwise direction. So this side will be tight side and this will be slack side. So such type of drive system is called as open belt drive system where there will be tension tight side and slack side will be continuous. While in the second diagram here, if you see, this is the cross belt drive system where the belt is been crossed. So this open belt drive system and this is the cross belt drive system and the motion of the driving wheel is in the in that sense only the tight side will be existing while the other side will be slack. And now this system is quarter belt turn belt here the belt is slightly turned at a quarter part and here the belt is turned at quarter with along with some guide pulley so as to increase the tension. And last is the belt drive with single idler pulley or by multi idler pulley. Here, the idler pulley, they are inserted so as to increase the tension in the belt and so as to avoid the slipping phenomena and so as to just increase the friction of the belt with the pulley so that there will be maximum power transmission. Now, V belt drive. The V belt drive, they are made up of fabric which are molded in the rubber and converted with fabric and rubber as shown in the figure. They are having trapezoidal cross section, which in which the V angle they are usually near about 30 to 40 degree. And uh, this V belt drive, the V means uh, the belt runs, the V belt runs over the pulleys. Whereas in case of V belt drive, the rim of the pulley is in groove in which the V belt runs. Means the pulley they are having grooves in which this V belt gets fitted. The effect of this groove is to increase the frictional grip so that there will be no any slipping chances. And if their gripping is good, then the power transmission will be maximum as compared to the flat belt system. So this is the positive point of the V belt or the flat belt here. As the cross section of the pulleys, they are having V shape. So the pulleys that uh, belt, the V belt will get fixed permanently into that pulley so that gripping will be maximum and there will be no any chance of slipping. So this is the positive point of V belt drive or the flat belt drive system. Then uh, these are the advantages and disadvantages that uh, it provides longer life than V belts are made endless and there is no joint as there is no need of providing joint. 
then we will drive they are having very good competency and over the small distance within center of police and operation is much quieter as compared to flat bed and velocity ratio is opted above is they are opted maximum but uh, there are some limitations uh, the vehicles they cannot be used with large center distance the construction of police for will is they are more complicated so cost will be more and uh, the, this, the life of the belt is also greatly influenced with the temperature change means there, if there is a change in atmospheric condition it will impact on the tension means the tension side of the belt so that there will be more slipping chances and uh, particularly the construction of pulleys is most costly so these are the drawbacks of the wheel drive thank you